five minutes after the speech. The world's higher education used to be at a one stage, similar to this unplated balloon. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic COVID-19, the higher educational system were blocked. Most universities were closed, and many students decided to go back home. However, since we are living in the digital era, there are plenty of chances to save our higher education again. The involvement of online learning brings greatly impact to higher education, not only in Cambodia but also to the global. My respects to your excellency, presidents, Belty IU management team, honorable judges, all participants, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Chanti Da, a senior student from the Faculty of International Relations. I am truly honored to stand here, giving a speech on the topic of what are advantages and disadvantages of online learning in higher education. Did you know, according to Oxford Research Encyclopedia, online learning is defined as a form of education that accommodates learners' individual needs through the internet, whereas higher education refers to learning that occurs at university based on data government UK. These two key terms are enough to fulfill the meaning of the above topic. In just thinking of an eye, everything has drastically changed from physical class to online class. And it can't be denied that the online learning in higher education has its own set of pros and cons. The online learning is believed to be the catalyst of higher education success for three advantages. Initially, it offers beneficial platform. In today's digital era, online learning enables students to reach out new frontier. For instance, Belty International University has adopted three online learning platforms to support the student learning process, such as Zoom for live meeting, Schoology for online assessment, and Telegram for live chat. Second, online learning promotes sustainable education. It motivates the students to attend the online class regularly throughout the academic year. And it also proves us that no matter where education takes place, online learning will help engage students, faculty, and lecturer for learning, collaborations, and administrations. For the last benefit, online learning also guarantees student career prospect. Although the world is threatened by the COVID-19, a jobs market is always available for university students. According to the World Bank, Cambodia had the lowest unemployment rate in ASEAN 2020, which was only 0.31% thanks to online learning. Although online learning is considered as a diamond in some people's eye, yet it brings two drawbacks. First, it is a threat to rural students as dropout. Due to challenges of using online learning platform, most of rural students will resist to adapt to new norms of education. According to OCLA Speedtest Global Index, Cambodia's mobile internet is barely rich seven megabyte per second. Last but not least, online learnings also affect to our physical and mental health. Actually spending too much time without movements for online learnings result in headache and eye strains. Furthermore, based on the study of University from Toronto, reported that students also increase in mental health distress as they feel isolated due to excessive use of online learning platform. In conclusion, online learning becomes the perfect model for higher education by offering beneficial platform, sustainable education, and it also guarantees students' care prospect. However, if we take a look at the opposite side, online learning is a barrier for rural students to participate, and indeed, it also presents a major risk for our emotional and physical health as well. So ladies and gentlemen, by the wisdom of His Excellency Dr. Li Cheng, as a takeaway message, self knowledge by doing real practice to reach digital era. Ladies and gentlemen, it's come to the end. Thank you. Thank you for your speech. You have two minutes for questions from the judges.
my highest respect to His Excellency President, members of the organizing committee, and our beloved contestant, John Tida. Yes. My question for you is, what suggestions do you have to the management and the lecturers of Belty International University in improving the quality of online learning and teaching? Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your questions. Well, it is an undeniable fact that um, since the world grabbed pop by the COVID-19, we need to adapt and adapt ourselves real quick to the online education, which also affects to most of students studying progress as well. So um, for the management teams and also lecturers, try to keep in touch. And I do believe that um, we need to train the students on how to use online learning effectively and wisely as well. So more than that, I also believe that practice makes perfect. So the more you practice, the more you get it. The student requires more practice in order to adapt themselves um, with online learning effectively. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. My greatest respect to His Excellency President, members of the organizing committee, and our beloved contestant, Ms. Chuan Tira. I have one question for you, and that is, between online learning and on-campus learning, which method do you personally prefer? Yeah, thank you, sir, for your questions. Actually, I consider this as a tough decision for me to choose between online learning and physical learning. Um, since the world crapped by the COVID-19 and during this global crisis, Online learning is the best choice for all, especially for high education students, as it allows students to continue learning despite the pandemic. Um, however, I believe that um, online learning cannot be the replacement for um, traditional classroom learning since we need, um, thank you. Thank you, Ms. John Tida. 